Hi, I'm Amy Riles with Honestly Horses, and this is going to be how to remove your horse's giant chestnut from his leg in five minutes or less. Hopefully it won't take me that long to saw it off. I have already done the other leg on this horse. He had some chestnuts that were about two inches thick. The bad thing about that is those can get caught on things. They can get torn off. I actually had my mare completely remove her hind chestnut a few months ago. It grew back, oddly enough, is so interesting, but I thought I'd show how to do this. So first of all, what I have done is I started out with just a wad of wet paper towel. And I'm gonna switch over here to this horse's chestnut so you can see that sucker. And hopefully he'll cooperate and keep that leg pretty still. So all I did was I took my wet paper towel and I kind of wrapped it around his chestnut like that. And I've just let it soak for about two minutes before doing this. And then all I did was I took plain old Vaseline and I rubbed it all over that chestnut. And I've let it sit here for about five minutes. I happen to have a hoof knife and my hoof knife is relatively sharp. So I'm using my hoof knife to do this, but you can use any sharp knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm just, this is nice because it has this kind of edge and if you have a regular knife, you'll have like the, the butt end of your knife right here. I just kind of lay that on the horse and I'm just gonna start working that. I hold the chestnut kind of still as I cut because I don't want it wiggling a whole lot. If it starts to wiggle a lot, he'll wanna move. We'll just adjust. And I'm already making a pretty good groove in the bottom of that there. So that's what I want. I want to just get rid of this giant chunk here. And I already did the other side, like I said. You want to be super careful not to cut your fingers. So I'm holding this by the very, very tip end of it. And I'm just following the lay of his leg. That's the first chunk off of there. Can you move this leg forward for me just a hair? I know, you wanna block my view. That's a good boy. There's another chunk. I'm just taking it off as it comes in kind of pieces. Keeping my blade facing away from the horse, obviously. I'm just sawing this off because it's so big and it's so thick. I attempted to soften them and peel them off. And sometimes you can do that. But this horse thought these were gonna be permanent. He was hanging on to that big old chunk of stuff. So once they're smaller, there, that piece just peeled off of there. That, first of all, looks a whole lot better, but also it doesn't pose so much of a risk of getting ripped off or caught in a rope or anything else. Fence, I don't even know how they get them caught in things, but when they get to sticking out here that far, it's definitely prone to getting caught in things. You can put hoof conditioner on these. I like Vaseline. It seems to moisturize them really well. And if you do the Vaseline for two or three days, <laughs> he's moving the camera, then you can sometimes just peel those right off if you want to do that in a little longer process and not use a knife. Anyway, that's how to remove your horse's chestnut in five minutes or less. Thanks for watching.